What's up guys, I'm Crazyak and welcome back to Ether 1. So, last episode we, we finally finished all the projectors of Grimcliff Mine as far as I can tell. And we went into the second core memory, saw some kind of horrific looking stuff, and then we were transported here. So I'm supposed to use the artifact to... Yep, to remove these blue crystals that we found, which are very pretty. But I think these are like the physical manifestation of the dementia in Gene's mind. So. The idea is that we're going to get rid of all of them. I'm just not quite right. Keep going. Uh huh. I don't like it when she says something's not quite right. But I don't care right now. I am a dementia fighting machine. Just destroying dementia crystals right and left. Aw, yeah. I don't think I need to do anything else except that. Ooh, an elevator. Let's go up. Or down. Down. This looks safe. I can't actually hear what they're saying, I'm sorry. Hi. Cool, I like this. Yeah, I wish I could hear what they were actually saying now. How far down are we going? This reminds me of the, the, the elevator in Inception where you kept seeing all the memories on the way down. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening to you. Am I supposed to go in there somehow? Nope, apparently not. Oh, hi! Whoa. Time and time again, I've told you. Hang your coat up on the back of the door. I think we're finally getting to that really weird section of her... ...of her mind! And kind of shit's unraveling a little bit here. Uh-huh. Okay. So apparently we're back in the facility with the tutorial again. Click. Oh. You need to know. You need to see. This is it. The root of the illness. Use the artifact and cleanse this mind of the disease that plagues it. Use it now. But, but this thing was here when I went into the Ether Institute outside of Gene's mind. I think we're still in Gene's mind, but... Whatever, let's get rid of it. Yes. Destroy the crystal! Got it. We walked right into her plan. Good job. You're doing a marvelous job. Oh, well, thank you. We really couldn't have done this without you. I know, right? All that remains to be done is... What? Did you see that? See what? I heard something. Oh, oh no. Not this again. No, no, no. Aw. Oh. Don't take me! I can't resist. I remember last time what happened when we were taken, you know, for a journey through the mind. Oh, this is cool. Can I get rid of these? Nope, they're just things. Yeah, that's... Uh-huh. What is going on? I remember this room. I remember this room. What is going on here? Television? That's cool. That's good. Whatever. What is this thing? Oh no! Here we go again! Okay, this looks normal. Yeah, this seems a little strange. Don't worry. Don't worry! As I'm being carried through a giant tunnel of crystals toward a bright light, you're telling me not to worry. Is that... is that it? Breath. I'm in a chair. Oh, I can get it's up and move. Okay. Hmm. No. Memory. Please don't be sorry. Oh, that's what's playing right we're now. We're home now. Everything's fine. Here. Let me turn on the lamp. 
Oh. I'm just making a cup of tea. Would you like one? I, yes, please. I, I just wanted to see them. I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to let them know that I was okay. Who? Who did you want to see? I... Is that I Thomas? I to see everyone at the Institute. I just wanted to say hello. What Institute? What on earth are you talking about? Please, can you... Can you take me back there? Can you take me back home? But... Thomas... This is your home. Please. Why don't you sit down and relax? Yeah, do that. Good idea. Who, who oh. are you? What do you mean? You know who I am, darling. Don't you? Don't you? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! So the, the, she's kind of falling apart. Oh, the again. memories around you are falling apart, and we're nearly out of time. Okay, I guess I shouldn't just be exploring. This looks like the way out over here. It sounds like I, I think I have some guesses as to what's going on here, but some there's just some really weird stuff going on here that I'm still trying to piece together. There's a lot of like information flow, and it's not really whoa. It's not really making sense just yet. So let's take a look around here. Okay, anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Like, am I supposed to be looking for more, uh, more of the blue crystals? Because those were only in Devil and Mine, as far as I remember. Anything over here? Uh, oh, there's that chair again. Wait, this is where we just were. There's the lamp, and yeah, so this is where we were, so, okay. Alrighty. I apologize for what just happened, segment? and for what we've done, but I did tell you to be gentle in there. I was doing my best! There's no use blaming each other, though. It's clearly no one's fault. I just hope you're okay. And now that you have the artifact, ready to press on. Yeah, I'm ready to press on. hasn't changed, and you best move along. Alright, more red stuff. Oh, what's this? To the glory of God and honored memory of the men of Pinwheel who gave their lives in the Great War. Also in grateful appreciation of the services of those who returned. Oh, that's really sad. Okay, let's go look around. Oh, a memory fragment thingy. Was this here the first time I just missed it, or is this new? You know, when I was a young doctor, there was a lot that I thought I knew. Mm -hmm. And there was little I wouldn't have done to prove myself. Ambition. Something I had in abundance. And has always pushed me to the far corners of science. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that some of these procedures are a little experimental in nature. That's one way to put it. Yet surely it's right to sacrifice a few for the majority. And that's where I disagree with you. But, okay, let's see. Um, not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Maybe there's more memory fragments? I don't know. I, I Now that I think about it, I had to get all the memory fragments to continue the story, so I didn't miss any before. Uh, so this is a brand new one. So there's a light on in here. Let's go take a look. Maybe there's something useful in here. A note. Do you remember when we first bought this house and there was one single apple tree growing in the front garden? Can you believe how far that one tree has taken us? Happy anniversary. Aw, that's sweet. There's some whispering going on around me. Oh, what's this? Empty bottle. Empty bottle. So I'm not sure there's anything inside the houses that I'm supposed to see necessarily. Except for, you know, an Easter egg or a... Oh, yeah, okay, so there is. Oh, no, this is outside. Okay. Pinwheel Village was said to have the best May Day festivals across the region. Mm -hmm. You know what? I've never actually been to a May Day festival. Me neither. Okay, so I think... I know I've only seen two, but I'm going to guess that all of the, the, the memory fragments are outside. So hopefully... What is this? Turn the dial that is underneath the shower head to number six. Okay, does this... I think this is going in my case. I, if I remember correctly, there's a way I can see this in my case. Because I don't want to have to write the whole effing note down. So let's go take a look here. Is it here? No, that's locker code. That's that. Uh, doesn't look like it's here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, so I have to actually write this one down. Okay, so. Dial underneath the shower head to six. Under head equals six. Wait for the water to warm up, so wait. 
Check it with the back of your hand. When it's safe, you can enter the shower. When finished, ensure the dial underneath the shower head is so dial equals zero. Okay, that is our instruction set. So let's go see if we can find something to apply that to, I guess. Ooh, cider! Wait, wait, hang on a second. Before I go in there, where is the shower it's talking about? Maybe it's down here? I honestly have no idea. I don't see any shower. Okay, so there's look like some festival stuff over there. So let's check out the cider place first. Maybe there's something useful. I'm feeling that there's something missing in life. Uh huh. It's great. Oh yeah, here we go. for sale at the time of the event. The economy was changing, and a decline in milling in Pinwheel meant that fewer people were visiting the village. Sorry if I'm not talking much, but there's a lot of dialogue going on. I'm beginning to suspect that I may have been too cavalier in my approach. In fact, I'm certain I have. But these are new frontiers. Don't you understand? There's no second chance with this. I have one chance, and you're it. I know. I don't trust often, but I have faith that you're going to complete this task. And you're going to do it with grace. Uh huh. I gotta try this. Okay. Okay. No. I I don't think I need the bar graph anymore. I'm just gonna stick it in the case anyway. And but it, but yeah, I, I had to try because it's like a Bible sitting right beside the fire. I mean, I had to give it a shot. I don't know what kind of mo messages this is sending or what the affiliations of the people involved are, but I thought it was worth a shot anyway. So I'm gonna take this statue. Might be important later. A young man came to visit me today. Rather than offering, uh, rather than me offering advice, it was he who enlightened my day. He spoke of an exciting journey he was going to on, go on one day away from Pinwheel. He spoke very fondly of his best friend, a girl named Jean. His maturity also surprised me and was well aware of the underlying issues facing Pinwheel's future. I think his father is a minor, although he didn't speak too much about him. He seemed to avoid any conversation heading in that direction. He's a positive young man. I look forward to our continued friendship. Uh, see, there's just... Like, this story has so many, like, nice, respectable people in it. And it feels really it's sad. It's always so peaceful here at night. It is. It is. It's really sad to see like all their lives like fall apart like this. Okay, so this looks like oh, it's just a stained glass window. But there's festival stuff up here. I think this is maybe where I'm supposed to go. Is a bike here? But I'm just looking for more memory fragments. I think. I think that's what my goal is right now. Okay. Oh, what's this? Adam to. Oh, I see. I. Oh no! I have to. How am I supposed to solve that puzzle? How am I supposed to solve that puzzle? It's the little things at first. More the projectors. Were already easy to forget. The knocker is a good book. My favorite part this was when the hall used to be filled with the sound of children laughing and playing. Innocence is such a fragile thing. Hmm. I think in a way, we all end up back where we started in our minds after enough time has passed. <laughs> anyway, Something is showing on my side, though it's not quite visible yet. Anyway, the knocker's a good book. My favorite part was when they thought it was a knocker, but it was really their brother. Very scary, but exciting. Thanks for ruining the end. We didn't actually get to the end of the knocker. We must have missed a statue somewhere. Okay, so oh, what is this? Oh, we saw a, a handprint before, too. Okay, so that goes back out there. I want to figure out this tic-tac-toe puzzle. But I'm not sure. Whoa, what is this? It's like a little, oh, another book of the knocker. The Grumpy Knocker. Okay, lots of handprints. I think these are just kids' handprints, but one was upside down before, so I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Spanner, I think I already have one of those. Mug. Oh, here we go, spellings. Lost car keys. Great. Or forgetting how to use the front door. Hmm. How am I supposed to figure out the word for that one? Oh no, puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Okay, let's look in the desks. Maybe... Oh, S. Okay, so the last word starts with S. Come on. S again. S again. Did I just say S? That's the only hint I get is S? I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a hundred thousand words in English that start with S. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one doesn't... Come on, who's the class genius? Who is the one that got all the correct answers? That's the one I want to copy off. No, just S. That's all I get. So, S. Book of the week as well. Oh. 
Okay, that's that. Um, unless this is the book of the week, the Bible. Could be that. So, S. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Everything is something that I've come across so far. So, we've seen... Like, there's a mug there. That's not up here, but there's... We've seen coal, teapot, Bible. Bible isn't up there, but there's bottle, sack. It's a coin sack, apparently, but... It's the spanner, isn't it? The spanner that I saw. It's the spanner. Okay, so there's the spanner. Book of the week is not the knocker? Let's try the grumpy knocker. Within a few years, just going out to get a newspaper ends up being a three-hour search. I know, right? Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay, so that was one piece of the projector that we saw lying around somewhere that I can't find anymore. Let's go in here. What's in here? Okay, what's on the board? I think I was just supposed to solve all these kids, these th kids things. Maybe this is from Jean's memory of when she was a kid. So, detention list: Emily Frost, Robert Beard, Mike Williams, Ben Chapman, Mirzat Sarsavik, and Jennifer Kilham. Great. So let's put the statue there because maybe I don't need it. Let's go around the back of the desk. Anything? Nope, nothing. Okay, let's take a look in their desks. Let's go copy off all their tests. <laughs> I don't want to be sat in geography lessons learning about places I'll never visit. I want to go there now. Leave. I want to jump on one of the ships in the night and visit America. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So apparently I just got lucky on the first one. I used to love art lessons. Yeah, okay, so that's it. So that's the only desk that actually had something in it. So someone wants to leave and go see America. What's this? Unpainted wall. Okay. I have to... This is what Jean has been talking about the whole time with the art, but I don't know how I'm supposed to actually fill those in. Hmm. I don't actually see, like, except for this, which I can't interact with, I don't actually see any, like, painting goods or anything. Anyway, I'm all out of time for this one, so we'll have to pick this up next time. This is actually... I didn't think there'd be any more projectors after the last one, but apparently there's lots more, so... Uh, we'll get back into this next time, and I will leave you with this lovely painting of a guy with glasses... He's beautiful, isn't he? Looks a little bit like someone from Harry Potter. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch more Ether One videos, you can check out the playlist down below, and you can find them all there. And until the next episode, guys, I'll see you later.